Hello world! Welcome back to another Pico CTF 2022 write up video. In this video, we'll be solving the reverse engineering challenge unpackme.py worth 100 points. Can you get the flag? Reverse engineer this Python program. Okay, so I've already downloaded the Python program, so why don't we go ahead and crack that sucker open? And let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so here we have a payload. It's seemingly in base 64. We could try to decode that. Key str equals correct, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it's base 64 encoding this. And then Fernet, it, it's a cryptography library. You may have to pip install the cryptography library if it's not already pre-built into your Python installation, wherever you're doing this from, be it Windows or Linux. And then it's taking the plane or it's it's defining a plane variable f dot decrypt payload. OK, so f equals for so whatever this Fernet function is doing, we could we might be able to look that up or something if we need to. It's taking this key right, and it's for making a doing some kind of Fernet thing with it. And then it's decrypting the payload here. So plane equals f dot decrypt payload. And then it's executing the decoded plane. OK little confusing let's pull this over here and let's bring up our powershell window why don't we go ahead and navigate to this directory okay there's our python file so let's go ahead and just try running it and see what it gives us what's the password okay well we don't know so blah 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 all right now your first inclination might be to decode this base 64 up here, but I, if I remember correctly, that doesn't come out to be plain text or anything readable. What we can do though is, see how it says execute down here? So it's taking, I'm guessing this payload, right, is going through this process. And then down here, it's finally getting fully decoded. And that's what's prompting us for this password, right? I feel like that's, that's part of what's up here or whatever code is written up there and is being executed. So what we need to do is, well, what if we, instead of ex executing the plane.decode, why don't we just print it? Because by executing it, it's actually running that payload. And so if there's like breaks or pauses and stuff in it, then it's going to essentially do what it did here, right? But if we just print out the payload after it's downloaded, it should just tell us everything that's in it in plain text. So let's see what happens now. And we'll just bypass this. And I totally forgot to save the file. That was my fault. Okay, let's try that again. And there you go. So this was the entire payload. So we got to this point up here, right? And if our password is wrong, then it's gonna say password is incorrect, which is what we got up here. But if we had put in battery horse, then it would say, our flag, but we kind of bypassed all that by just exchanging the exec function for the print function. So it would just print out the entire payload or the entire separate program that's been encoded. And I guess the flag is it's Christmas. There you go. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below and leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye world.